If it hasn't happened to you yet, chances are growing that it soon will. Good evening and welcome to Dateline. I'm Stone Phillips. You look at your credit card statement and it's full of charges you know you didn't make. Or worse, you check your bank account and it's completely empty the day after you were paid. Those are often the first clues most people have that their identity has been stolen, their money gone, their credit ruined. Police say identity theft is a crime that is almost impossible to stop because the crooks are almost impossible to find. Here's Chris Hansen. It happens so often, TV commercials joke about it. Oh, I stole his password online and hello, makeover. <laughs> a faceless stranger is able to get a hold of your credit card and go to town. Sound good because they free. See you. But for real people, it's no joke at all. It's huge out there. Craig McGaw is in charge of criminal investigations at the U.S. Secret Service, which fights identity theft. He says there was a time when crooks would get your credit card number by stealing a purse or digging in the trash. 15, 20 years ago, we worried about tearing up the carbons exactly. in our credit card receipts. Right. Dumpster diving. Now? Well, now with technology, uh, the criminals are able to uh, hack into corporations, financial institutions, and, uh, and get much larger amounts of information data. High-tech dumpster diving. You could call it that. And thanks to the Internet, once the thieves have your card number, they're off on an online shopping spree with your money. It happens once every four seconds, once every four seconds, once every four seconds, thousands of times a day, millions of times a year. That's how many times experts estimate there's a phony charge made with a stolen credit card number. We're on the hunt for international identity thieves. There's 175 hackers in this room, and right now they're buying and selling personal identities. Watch closely. You're about to get a look at something few Americans have ever seen. This lady by the name of Anna. We have her credit card number, expiration, mother's maiden name. It's an underground internet chat room for thieves selling information about people like you. Social security number, date of birth, and PIN. Her identity is completely compromised and will be indefinitely the rest of her life. Our guide to the secret internet underground is Dan Clements, president of Card Cops, an internet security company that monitors chat rooms like this one, where criminals go to buy and sell your most personal information. It's like a thieves' market. It is a thieves' market. A black market we're about to expose. We'll be careful not to reveal people's private information. But in a matter of minutes, Dan Clements shows us just how much a crook can obtain in the wide open internet underground. Want the login and password to take over someone's bank account? We have guys that are advertising that they have uh, logins to Wachovia Bank. They logins? Have log logins, online bank logins. So people can actually go log into someone's account? Yes, they're selling logins to bank account. Barclays, Wells Fargo, HSBC, all the large banks are here to be bought and sold. So somebody could get this information, log on to somebody's account, and take their money? Drain their account. That's what these hackers are interested in. And that's just the start. Want credit cards? Well, here's somebody named Pepper Bora. He's saying that he has dumps for sale, which is the information on the magnetic stripe on the back of a credit card. That's amazing. Yeah, here's somebody here is selling the Royal Canadian Bank of Canada, Capital One logins. So everything is available here. There are so many thieves, crooks don't have to pay much for your personal information. You won't believe the deal this hacker is offering. And how much is this guy charging? It's $5 to buy a five dollars Only $5. So for five bucks, a thief can buy a name, an address, social security number, credit card number, PIN number, enough details to completely rip you off. So where do the thieves get all that information? Stolen computer equipment that contain personal data. First, they can get it from stolen laptop computers. Next, hackers actually break into computers, and not just big ones. Any computer system at any store, especially a small store with weak security, is vulnerable. It doesn't take days or months or years to have identity theft hit you. It's it gone. takes seconds. It's gone. The Internet thieves come from all over the world, targeting Americans. They're rarely caught, almost never identified. This part of our investigation lasts less than two days, but the illegal charges are astonishing. Flowers in Latin America, cell phones in Canada, airline tickets in Asia. 16 different countries over the two days. So over the two days we did this, 
we had uh, purchases in 16 different countries. Every continent except for Antarctica, basically. The level of activity is stunning. Yeah, there's I mean, I can't get over it. Identity theft hitting Americans from foreign soil is big business. Just how big? Experts estimate that identity theft costs Americans nearly $5 billion a year. And in most cases, the thieves get away with it.